standing right next to the spark that set off the explosion. Let me explain. This is a kebab stand. It has been here for a very long time. Managed by a man who lives in the community, very limited education, but who runs his business here to make a living every day. It is literally 10 meters away from the gas station that exploded. The sequence of events are as follows. There was a leak during a loading exercise. A leak from one of the, the tanks here in this compound. Gas was booming up into the sky, blowing up very fast, and everybody in the area noticed it. People up here on the overhead started filming the escaping gas. Members of staff at the gas station evacuated immediately and called the authorities. Within minutes, our Chichinga stand operator decided to start work. In spite of the fact that there was escaping gas, he lit a flame under his kebab and the flame shot up into the air and connected with the gas that was gathering in the air above the heads of all the people standing around. Gas is denser than air. Eventually that gas would have settled down. But before it had the chance to do so, this flame connected with it and set the entire sky above the people at this junction ablaze. One man who was filming the escaping gas from up there on the overhead was jolted and in shock fell from the overhead to the underpass below. He died on the spot. The flame in the sky then returned to its source, which was the leaking tank, and blew up. That is what created the mushroom cloud that was seen for miles across the capital city and into neighboring Idri. That is the chronology of events that led to the explosion.